Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about sex chromosomes and their evolution. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So basically a sex chromosome is a chromosome that differs from an ordinary autosome in form, size and behavior. So, the human sex chromosomes determine the sex of an individual. Since you know if a person has two X chromosomes, she will be female. And if a person has one X chromosome, one Y chromosome, he will be the male. So, basically sex chromosomes determine the sex of that particular individual. Nate Stevens discovered sex chromosomes in 1905. Now in humans, each cell nucleus contains 23 pairs of chromosomes. Like we have 46 chromosomes in our nucleus. The first 22 pairs, that means the first 44 chromosomes are called autosomes. And the 23rd pair of chromosomes are called sex chromosomes or allosomes. So last two chromosomes are called sex chromosomes or allosomes. So sex chromosomes are also called as allosomes. Now sex chromosomes consist of two X chromosomes in females and an X chromosome and a Y chromosome in males that we all know, right? Now females therefore have 23 homologous chromosome pairs. So 22 pairs of autosomes plus 2 X chromosomes. 2 X chromosomes are homologous chromosomes since 2 X chromosomes are same and 22 pairs of autosomes. So 22 pairs of homologous chromosomes plus one pair of homologous X chromosomes. So total 23 homologous chromosome pairs. But males have 22 such homologous chromosome pairs. Since male has 22 pairs of autosomes, that means 22 homologous chromosome pairs, but one X and one Y chromosomes. So X chromosome and Y chromosome are different. They are not, not homologous chromosomes. So in case of men, we will get 22 homologous chromosome pairs. And in case of females, we will get 23 homologous chromosome pairs. The X and Y chromosomes have small regions of homology called pseudo autosomal regions very small regions of x and y chromosomes are same they share homology and that particular region is called pseudo autosomal regions an x chromosome is always present as the 23rd chromosome in the ovum while either an x or y chromosome may be present in an individual sperm so an egg cell is haploid cell. Again, sperm cell is haploid cell. So two types of sperm we, you will get. And one type of egg you will get. So egg cell contains 22 autosomes plus one X chromosome. But in case of sperm, you will get 22 autosomes plus one X chromosome. Otherwise, 22 autosomes plus one Y chromosome. Since these are gametes and these are haploid cells. Now we will talk about the evolution of sex chromosome. So the first theory is genetic sex determination and recombination suppression. This theory states that evolution of sex chromosomes 
starts with a pair of homologous autosomes that gain a major sex determining function through one or several genes. Suppose we had one pair of autosomes. Okay. Autosomes. Now something happened and these autosomes gained a new gene. Suppose gene X. Hmm? And this gene had a major sex determining function. And these autosomes became sex chromosomes. Next, sex specific genes like this X gene, this is the sex specific gene. It becomes linked to the sex determining region and suppression of recombination evolves in the heterozygous sex. Heterozygous sex means it has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So two sex chromosomes are different. That is called heterozygous sex. Here recombination would be suppressed. Why? Actually, this X and Y chromosome are different chromosomes. So, recombination cannot happen in different chromosomes. Recombination always happens in homologous chromosomes. So, these two autosomes which gained the X gene were not able to recombine. So, suppression of recombination occurred in these two chromosomes and it became sex chromosomes X and Y. So this is the funda. Actually it is said that uh, one gene contained the heterochromatin region and was unable to recombine with its homologous pair. Okay next is degeneration and dosage compensation. So the homogametic sex that means female who has two X chromosomes will have two copies of X linked genes compared to the heterogametic sex that is XY males resulting in unequal expression between the sexes. Suppose female contains two X chromosomes and male contains one X and one Y chromosome. Now suppose this X chromosome contains gene A. Now both X chromosomes in female will have this gene A. But in male this X chromosome will have one gene A and Y chromosome will not have this gene. So in this case we can see that the female contains two copies of gene A but the male contains only one copy of gene A. Now in order to balance this thing something happened. So the solution is dosage compensation which can be achieved in different ways like X chromosome inactivation in female mammals. So in case of female mammals one X chromosome gets inactivated. So they have only one active X chromosome. So one active X chromosome will have one copy of A gene. That means the male and female sex chromosomes are balanced in this way. They will express the same amount of A gene product. This is one way. Another way is X hyper expression in male Drosophila. In case of male Drosophila, they have hyper expressed X. That means the X chromosome contains genes in males would be expressed twice amount. So again male female sex chromosome products are balanced in this way. So there are different ways. Next is sex chromosome turnovers. 
So a sex chromosome turnover is a change in the identity of the sex chromosomes. It is very common in fish and may result from the evolution of a new sex determining gene on an autosome. Suppose this is the autosome in fish. So this is the autosome number one, chromosome number one. Now it gains a new gene that is gene A and this gene is directly associated with the sex determining function. So this autosome becomes sex chromosome. This is one way. Next way is transposition of a sex determining locus to an autosome. Suppose this is the autosome and this is the X chromosome. Now a particular gene that is A which is present in X chromosome is jumped in this autosome. So now A gene which was in the X chromosome earlier is now at autosome. Then this autosome becomes sex chromosome because transposition is the capability of a gene to jump from one place to another place. This is another way. Next is fusion between autosome and existing sex chromosome. Suppose this is the autosome and this is the X chromosome. Both will fuse and we will get a new chromosome that is called neosex chromosome. So this is the sex chromosome, new sex chromosome. This is the other way. For example, in teloid fish, translocation of the sex determining region of a sex chromosome occurred into an autosome. This resulted in the autosome becoming a novel W sex chromosome. So what happened in teloid fish? Actually, it happened during an experiment. So, some scientists performed an experiment using teloist fish. And what happened? This is the autosome and this is the sex chromosome. So, a particular region of this sex chromosome that is called the sex determining region of the sex chromosome, it translocated. It translocated from this X chromosome into this autosome and this autosome becomes a new chromosome that is the novel W sex chromosome. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please check the description box or first pin comment. Thank you.